St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones is celebrating a big win in Jefferson City where police unions were pushing for a state takeover of the police department. Our political editor Mark Maxwell recaps what went wrong for the unions and what comes next for the mayor, Mark. Well, police unions went to Jefferson City on a revenge mission this year, intent on wrestling control of the police department out of the hands of the mayor and voters in favor of a state takeover. But tonight, lobbyists for the police union and lawmakers backing that plan are regrouping after suffering a stinging defeat at the state house. We're going home. When the Missouri House and Senate dismissed Friday night and the last gavel dropped, the St. Louis Police Department remained in the hands of city voters. House Democrat Lakeisha Bosley echoed arguments Mayor Tashara Jones made in her public push to keep the department under city control. We've got a new police chief, allow this new police chief to be able to do his job. Chief Robert Tracy testified to lawmakers in favor of local control and secured support from Democrats outside city limits. Clearly, voters in the city of St. Louis should have some say with their police department. While police unions pushed the plan through the House, it stalled in the Senate, where Senator Brian Williams said the party in the supermajority got in its own way. I do think the Republican infighting did uh, play a significant role. In the waning days of the legislative session, Republican leadership, including Senate Majority Leader Cindy O'Loughlin, shot down the plan. She wrote, I think the new police chief needs a chance to make the system work before we intervene. But before the deal was dead, Mayor Jones was already working behind the scenes. I think the mayor outfox Republicans. In a new contract with the unions, the mayor gave officers a big boost in pay. And the contract said that pay raise would disappear if the state took over. Oh, that was perfect. That, that was chef's kiss. In a statement, Jones said the leadership of the Police Officers Association and the Ethical Society of Police worked alongside right-wing, outstate Republicans trying to overturn the results of our elections. They failed, and St. Louisans will not forget their desperate attempt to take power from residents and hand it over to Jefferson City. The Ethical Society of Police responding in a statement, we agree to disagree, and argued the campaign was still productive because... Now the issues within the department and for our officers are being heard and taken more seriously. Police unions still want to see pay raises for civilian workers at the police department who may not wear the badge. People like dispatchers often flooded with phone calls. The mayor won this round, local control of police. But when she faces voters in two years, they'll want to know if she uh, brought that second word, control of crime in the city. All right, thank you, Mark.